Moscow says Biden-linked Ukrainian firm connected to terror attacks in Russia. White House responds. Washington has insisted there was no reason to search for any other potential suspects besides Islamic State after Moscow said it was looking at certain Western companies and government officials as part of an investigation into the funding of a string of terrorist attacks in Russia. The Russian Investigative Committee has established that the funds flowing through commercial organizations, including the oil and gas conglomerate Burisma Holdings, operating in Ukraine, have been used in recent years to carry out terrorist attacks in Russia. Spokeswoman Svetlana Petrenko said, Besides last month's Kroker City Hall attack, the investigation is looking at other terrorist acts, including the assassinations of prominent public figures and the bombing of the Nord Stream gas pipelines. Speaking to journalists, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan focused on reinforcing Washington's narrative on the Crocus attack while dismissing any other potential leads and other incidents. It's nonsense, Jake Sullivan stated. Russia knows it was Islamic State who committed the attack in Moscow. We know it was Islamic State who committed the attack in Moscow. He warned Russia of an impending terrorist attack in Moscow and all the rest of this is noise. Russia launched a probe into allegations that Ukraine and its Western backers are involved in terrorist activities on Russian soil after a referral by several lawmakers in the wake of the March 22 attack. The investigation has allegedly established that at least some of the terrorist funding had been funneled through Ukrainian companies, including the notorious Burisma Holdings, former employers of U.S. President Joe Biden's son, Hunter. Washington issued a public warning about an imminent attack in Russia in early March, weeks before the Crocus City assault. The U.S. refuses to allow any discussion of potential Ukrainian involvement in last month's terrorist attack near Moscow because Washington is ultimately accountable for Kiev's actions. The secretary of the Russian Security Council, Nikolai Patrushev, said last week. Putin launches three-stage Ukraine war plan. He wants to turn this country into a lifeless conflagration. President of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, ordered his army to seize Ukrainian cities after their destruction. To do this, the Russians have a three-stage plan. This was reported by the Czech edition of Aktualny Spravodajsvi. Russia launched a three-stage plan to seize Ukrainian cities after their preliminary destruction, the report reads. The publication noted that the first stage is aimed at spreading panic among civilians to force them to flee. During the second phase, KAB bombs will destroy residential buildings and industrial infrastructure of Ukrainian cities. In the third stage, Russian troops will attack destroyed and abandoned cities. During March, the Russians used a record number of cabs, more than 2,300. The production of three-ton FAB-3000 bombs was also resumed. Journalists suggest that under certain conditions, Russians hypothetically can use up to 5,000 KABs per month. Such a scenario threatened Ukraine with catastrophic consequences. Millions of Ukrainians will be forced to flee to Europe, which will be on the verge of a migration crisis, the media said. Russian President Vladimir Putin is preparing the ground for the largest humanitarian catastrophe in Ukraine. Another important goal for the enemy is the destruction of Ukraine's energy infrastructure. The Russians consistently attack cities near the front of the border, Sumy, Kharkiv, Nikopol, Dnipro, Krivyi, Mykolaiv, Odessa, because the air defense system can't intercept all the missiles fired at close range. As a result, the maximum damage is caused to the energy infrastructure of the frontline cities. It is no coincidence that after these attacks, Russian propagandists began to write amicably that Ukrainians should flee Kharkiv, the city that suffers most from Russian cabs, the newspaper wrote. The media added that the resumption of production of FAB-3000 is an extremely alarming signal since the enemy will be able to easily destroy densely populated areas, thermal power plants, logistics and factories. As the Russians advance, cab strikes will force Ukrainians to flee their settlements. Against the backdrop of international inaction, Putin wants to turn Ukraine into a lifeless conflagration, the journalists added.